Hi everyone, Abhishek Patel here from Robust QA iTest Software. So recently I have noticed that Playwright is gaining a lot of attention in test automation community. So I decided to explore it further to test whether this tool is living up to its expectation or not. Uh, so I was reading about the Playwright uh, this morning and found that it really promises great features like it supports all the essential browser and it also supports Python, Java, .NET and uh, it's a one API on and same test can run on any browser, resilient, no flaky test, no trade-off, no limit, full isolation, powerful tooling and all. So went to the docs and getting started and uh, installation is very simple. Uh, I was reading it, so yeah. So uh, first thing you need is Node.js. So make sure you go ahead and uh, download and install install the appropriate flavor. Since I'm using Windows, I have installed the Windows installer and uh, installed the Node.js for Windows. And don't forget to set the path. Uh, the second thing is you are going to need the Visual Studio Code. I already have one. Okay, and that's all uh, you need as uh, as of uh, download standpoint. Once it is there, just open the VS Code. And now what we can do is create the, let me just clear first this thing. First thing you have to do is create a folder uh, inside in your VS Code. It's simply just a file and maybe a, like create a folder or simply go to one of your drive like C drive maybe and create a folder like Playwright and simply drag and drop inside your VS Code and it should show you like this Playwright intro this is the name of the folder it's an empty folder now navigate here uh, to the inside your terminal uh, if you don't know how to do that it's simply click on here on your left bottom of VS Code, click here and it will bring up this uh, this frame and here go ahead and click on Terminal. Now first I have to initialize this folder the words. So I'm going to simply type npm init dash dash y. So this is going to initialize the project, right? So now I can install the node packages here. As you can see here, package.json got created inside here. Okay, and now let's see how to install the Playwright. It's very simple. Simply go ahead and click on the extension and search for the Playwright. And make sure you click this one, the one that is coming from Microsoft. And also if you don't know, Playwright is uh, developed by Microsoft and it is completely open source, free of charge. You can, anybody can use it, uh, right? and just simply click on it and then install it since i already installed it's not showing me the option to install again uh, okay so once this step is done the next step and the final step is you have to open the command palette by pressing ctrl shift and p and inside the palette just type install playwright and make sure you check all the checkboxes. That means you want to run your test on Chromium, Firefox, and WebKit, and click on OK. Pretty simple. And as you can see, it's installing the Playwright. And uh, here we are. So Playwright is installed now. As simple as that. So you're all set to run your test using the Playwright. You can automate your test, right? So this is the config file. Uh, I haven't researched much about the config file. I know a few things like you can set the global uh, parameters here uh, that will affect all your tests, like whether you want to run in a headless mode or not. Uh, yeah, in next video, I will research more about the configuration and we'll come back and upload the video, right? Uh, meanwhile, as you can see here, uh, there is also one new folder test that got created and TS is nothing but TypeScript. I would prefer or and encourage you to also use TypeScript. It is popular nowadays and has a quite a lot demand. 
and here are the tests. Okay, let me go ahead and create one uh, test. Since we are using TypeScript, make sure you are using this line to import your fixtures. Okay, let me go ahead and create new file, and I will say Expedia test dot spec dot ts. I'm simply going to copy this. And here, as you notice, the syntax is pretty simple. Seems like it's coming from Mocha or Jest. Maybe I don't know. But the thing is, you have to use the test, right? Use the test method. Okay, it is coming from here, the test, right? It is coming from here. Well, uh, now test accept two argument. One is the name of the test itself. So let's say, test uh, title of expedia.com and the second argument it takes is the callback function like this okay like this and also if you notice let me open the uh, example test file if you notice here it takes the fixture as page so page is nothing but you can think of it as a driver if you are coming from Selenium web driver background. It's, uh, it's a common, it's common for all the tests. So you don't have to initialize page. You, you can directly use the one that is being provided by Playwright test, right? So simply copy this and yeah, paste it here. Okay. And now first step is to navigate and the method to navigate to URL is go to. I just simply say page dot go to and https www dot expedia dot com and also playwright returns uh, the promise because this is async code. So we have to tell that this is the async call, uh, call or the method is async and that's why we have to use await after every function. So async await is the default syntax that we have to use inside the test. Okay, so this is going to navigate to the expedia.com and now I want to use expect, right? Expect is nothing but the assertion, expect that page dot title as you see title is a method and not the property so make sure you surround it by the brackets dot to b and the expected title so for that i'm going to go to the expedia here and get the title i'll go to elements control find and title and this is the title I want to test against, right? Go back to VS Code and paste here. That's it, as simple as this. And also, just for your info, that by default, Playwright runs test in the headless mode. So I will go to the Playwright config. And as I was saying before, I know a little about config file as of now. I'll research more, but if you want to run in the headed mode then you can use this property called headless and then pass the value as a false right and then don't forget comma because this key value pair you can write a comment like run test in headless or in headed mode right okay all good uh, as soon as you save this file you will notice that the play button will appear. This is coming from Playwright test. Click on it. And perfect. As you can see, it opened the Expedia and it's now going to check the title, expected title, and the test ran. As you can see, it passed. Okay, as simple as this, very simple. You can also run from the command line, uh, from terminal, it is npx playwright test and the name of the test right so the test this is the test so I'm simply going to drag drop here and remove the 
extra string and hit enter. And this is going to run the three tasks in a three different browser. Yep, it is running the test in the three browser. Now you may ask like how come this happened? It's because inside the config file here if you go down and look into the project we have mentioned by default it has mentioned all the three browsers. If you want to run a specific browser like Chromium and the Chromium is nothing but your desktop Chrome browser so make sure you have a Chrome browser installed and then you can simply use the parameter or the argument like project is equal to Chrome Chromium right this is the name you have to use okay great okay this should be playwright test okay okay it, it's uh, showing an error okay what is the error okay so it's chromium not chrome chromium so hit enter and see it started the run it's running on the chrome browser and that is it simple right see how simply we install the playwright and we wrote our first test case